Nothing on earth could hold him. Not locks, not chains, not jail cells, not straitjackets. He was Harry Houdini. Emerging from the obscure entertainment world of the fairgrounds, beer halls and sideshows, he captured the imagination of the world. Almost 70 years after his tragic death, his legacy lives on.
the world's most amazing videos. Manchester, New York. Just before the trick began, Frank soaked the material around the edge of the board with gasoline. Then, his assistant placed a three-minute cannon fuse in some gunpowder on the ground. Now Sheila and Mickey are bound to the board with real ropes and chains. Once the fuse is lit, Frank must first free himself from a pair of handcuffs. Usually when the board does blow up, we have just stepped away from it. Uh, it's timed so that as just as I make the final release of the handcuff, and she steps over the board just as her feet clears it, the gunpowder goes off. And it can be very deadly if you're standing above it or near it. Frank's assistant, Kelly Roberts, locks him in the bag. Sheila is nervous. Even before the trick began, she was ready to back out. Sheila looks at me and she says, you know, Mickey, I have a really bad feeling about this. I really, I don't think we should do this. And I just turned and looked at her and said, oh, no, it, this is going to be loads of fun, she. This is, you know, no problem. We know what we're doing. We can get out. In 10 seconds. The fuse is lit. In three minutes, the gunpowder and the gasoline will explode. Frank struggles inside the bag. Kelly calls out the time, so Frank will know just how long he has before the fuse ignites the explosives. <laughs> At last, Frank is out of the bag. Now he has just 90 seconds to untie the women. He's 25. <laughs> Mickey is almost free. But as Frank returns to help Sheila, he is shocked by what he sees. The fuse is burning way too fast, and the gunpowder is about to explode. Kelly tries to pull out the fuse. But he's too late. The blast knocks Kelly right off his feet. That felt like hell broke loose when the explosion went off. Extreme heat, noise, uh, set me back a good 10 feet. And for a second I was disoriented, I had no idea where I was. As I was taking my foot out of my last rope, bam, I was, the next thing I knew, I was on the ground. I was on the ground, rolling over, going, looking for Sheila, Frank, and Kelly, and not seeing them. And then it hit me, oh my God, Sheila's still on the board. Sheila is trapped, and the flames are threatening to engulf her. Frantically, she pulls at her restraints, but she can't get free. Finally, a firefighter arrives with an extinguisher and douses the flames. Incredibly, Sheila suffers only minor burns. But Frank knows that this accident could have been much worse. Nobody wants to try this at home. We got lucky they might not. You have an amazing years ago, magician Frank
Frank Poff was given permission by the Houdini family to use the great magician and escape artist's name. Although Puff is widely known for his ability to escape from straitjackets and chains, he did things differently for the kids at Seymour Magnet School this morning. I try to make the magic part of them, uh, get them involved in it, get them up on stage to actually see the magic up close. I know when I was growing up, you're always out there in the audience, you never got up to really see if the boxes were real, if the rope was real, you know, whatever the magician uses, you always thought there was a trick to it. Well, there was plenty of audience participation today, including one of the teachers who was warned before she volunteered not to lose her head in a routine that thrilled the kids. Well, they have this outfit of the thing and thinking he, she was scared. Oh, yeah? Did you think she was going to get her head cut off? Uh -huh. No. What happened? Maybe it was a sliding blade or something. Wow, that Houdini was really great, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, do you think he can really make objects and things disappear, sure. huh? You do? Do you think he could make people disappear? Yeah. Like a... No, come on, that's ridiculous. Uh-oh, from somewhere here at Seymour School, oh boy, I hope I can find my way back. Uh, Mike Price, 9 News, Syracuse. Thank you very much. We hope you enjoy our show. And on behalf of Susan, Rosa, Cameron, Kelly Roberts, and myself, Frank Thumb, 